actually got quite a lot of lead tokens, a couple of rabbits, um, quite a lot of coins. It's had a deep dive since then. So hopefully between us we can winkle up some goodies. So this is the field that we've got. So it's quite a big old stubble field. It goes right over there. It's been deep plough. So let's see. I've just had a signal out here. Uh, it's about a 51, it's quite low. Uh, it's one of those uh, suspender things. So, suspender loop. So just had this on a fairly dull 60. Um, it's a piece of lead, but it has got a point on there. So whether it was a, a stylus or not, I'm not sure. So, a piece of lead with a point on. Used to write on the clay with it like that. If that's what it is just flip this out on a little signal about 70 it's one of my favorite things to find and the watch finder so I'm happy with that it's only about two inch down on the tops so a little watch finder nice little find so we've just got this not quite sure what it is Still not sure what it is. Can't feel a shank on it. So I'm gonna say some kind of coin. I'll give that a clean up. Anything that comes out of it, I'll put a photo of it in a bit. But it does feel feel like a coin. It does feel like it's got a bit of a mill on the edge actually. It's a little bit toasted, but we'll take it. So just dug this one out. Now I thought it was just a piece of lead or half a musky ball or something like that. But I'll give it a wipe. You look on that side. Hope you can see that. Oh, I've blown a picture on it. But it's uh, it's got a pattern on it. It's almost like a token, but like a domed version of one. So. It's either a token or a gaming piece or, or something along those lines. A bit different. So I've just had this. Um, it's got a pattern there. Then it goes down. And then the end of it is like a um, pipe tamper. But it's got an hinge there and a ridges. So, I'm assuming it's half a nutcracker. Uh, if you disagree or agree, post below. This has just been flipped out. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit of an old buckle, that one. That's got a bit of age to it as well. A little fishy three down there. Yeah, it's going to be a token. Look, see a little cross on the middle. Um, I think mine is about four tokens already. This is my second. So, little lead token. Happy days. Got one somewhere here. I can see who it is. It is. So it's another one of those suspender clips. Funny old signal this one, but well, there it is. So I thought it was a musket ball, but uh, it's got the hole in it there, so it's probably one of those rabbit net weights, one on the other side there. Quite deep. That's what that is, uh, rabbit net weight. So we're just having 10 minutes on a bit of land next to it and it's usually uh, about four foot in grass so just a signal and it's a coin it's quite a good nick actually so coin get a date off that in a bit so 
on that rough old grass. A uh, big old D buckle. So just on the way back to the car, got a coin to finish. A little Queen Elizabeth ship half penny on the rough grass. So I've been out in Martinwood today, so thanks Martin for taking me on your land again. Um, these are the best bits. So we've got a 1936 George V penny, which is in pretty good condition. A ship half penny. For the date, I can't get off it. 1959, I think it is. Um, something fairly toasted. Now we have had a Roman off that field, um, so it's hard to tell. It's about five in sized. Watch winder. Always like finding a good watch winder. A couple of suspender bits. Big D. Um, I assume this is half a nutcracker with that bit on there, although it's got a funny shaped end. Um, that's probably a Roman stylus where they used to write on the wax. An old buckle. Now the field's quite renowned for tokens, so that's a token um, from today. This one's a bit weird, this is my favourite find of the day, it's like a dome token, but I'll try and put a blown up picture of that one on. It's got like a cross and dots on it. And these two were from the last visit off the same field, but we didn't video it. So we've got like a, a token with swirl on it. And a token, that's quite weird, it's almost got the mark of the uh, sprigs on it where it's come out of the mould. So that field is quite renowned for tokens. So it's not a bad day, we only had a couple of hours there. It's not been a bad day after all. Um, we was only out for a couple of hours. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, please give us a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.